this is thermoelectric humidor by need one today we're going to be taking really really close look at this humidor just like with everything i do when again delivered to me for a review so uh, let's go ahead unbox it and get right to it Okay, so this is 300 count humidor by a need one. So if you're watching the video right now, you're probably going to need one after you finish watching this video. So this cigar humidor is more for people who want to step up their game in cigar storing and aging because you probably know that not only humidity important for your cigar storage, temperature it's super super important for your cigars and unfortunately a lot of people is lacking at this because you come home and you have 72 degrees at your house or 75 degrees somebody who always called said their ac at 80 which is to me personally it's crazy but for cigars it's really really bad the temperature is super super hot and inside of humidity inside of humidor with all this humidity that temperature is actually going to be even higher so this is the worst thing you can do is store your cigars in just a regular basic humidor and you have 75 degrees in your house. So this is what happened. You need to get something like this. Um, so this is a thermal rated humidor that um, runs on a different type of cooling system, which we're going to get this in a second. It don't ta uh, run typically on your compressor like your refrigerator in your kitchen. Um, now, uh, this is really, really spacious humidor for someone who want to store boxes. And I highly recommend you to store your cigars, especially for the long uh, storage in actually their boxes. Uh, because that way the flavor of cigar, it will really, really hold and keep just by storing inside of the boxes. But obviously if you store boxes in there, you cannot fit all 300 cigars in there. Uh, but overall, this is very, very spacious, spacious humidor. You see it comes with a four seater um, shelves right here. It does have an integrated built-in uh, hydrometer, which we're going to talk about it. And second, we're going to actually test it and to see if it's actually calibrated. Um, now, before doing anything, before powering this thing on, just like with everything else out there, you need to do cleaning. Everything that you buy from the store, make sure you clean it really good, especially something you're putting in your mouth, which is your cigar. So your humidor possibly can come with some shaving, plastic shaving, metal shaving all over it. That's fine. This is just manufacturing. This is, does not go to um, um, hospital. It just go, comes to your house. So there is no requirement for a manufacturer to have this super, super clean and nice. So make sure you clean it really good. This is what I'm about to do it right now. Just with some water, tap water, it's fine. And paper towel, just wipe it really, really, really good. And then we're going to go ahead and power this baby on. Let's get right to it. Now it's very easy to operate this humidor. You basically have only three buttons, which one is for your light to turn and turn off, uh, which you're not really going to see it uh, when it's power on uh, from the inside because the glass is tinted um, and your up and down button for your temperature control. Now what you see right now, 67, this is the current temperature of the um, um, inside of your humidor. Now, um, the maximum temperature 
is already set to 74. Now, if I lower the temperature, which is, uh, it goes to minimum 54, you will hear the fan will turn on um, in the back of your humidor. And you can hear how the fan is start to run in behind the humidor. So now we at the lowest temperature, which is um, 54. And now those fans in the back will run to the maximum just to lower your temperature in your humidor. As soon as it happened, it will drop um, the speed and it'll become even quieter. By the way, a door made of a dual pane glass, which is uh, very, very important for this type of humidors. Basically, it's a type of glass you can find on every uh, wine cooler uh, and the windows. Um, in your house, it's a just dual glass with a gas filled inside, which is very important for thermal resistance. Now, welcome to the back of your humidor. This is how it looks in the back. You have fairly large uh, filter here, which is super important to keep it clean. And also, please make sure when you place your humidor, do not butt up all the way to the wall because you will block this area, you will block the airflow. And this is very, very important to keep the uh, airflow because this thing works on the air. There is a radiator inside of it. You see it on the video. It's cooling the radiator and this is how it's cooling everything that inside of your humidor. It does not have your typical compressor that your refrigerator have or your wine cooler have, for example, um, because um, it uses a different type of technology which is called thermal cooling plate is basically um, um, this plate is hot on one side and it's cold on another side and on that one side which is super hot it needs to have a radiator and that radiator needs to be cooled down by two fans so basically this how the thing works and the fan inside is actually pulling the cold air from the, the cold side of this plate you see all this right now on um, a video how this um, thing um, uh, works now right now um, your fans actually are running uh, on the lowest speed so you barely can hear it if you put this thing in the living room trust me you will never going to hear this thing running um, uh, as soon as this um, humidor start to raise in the temperature and it needs actually cool down a little bit you will hear the fans are going higher on speed but they're actually running all the time and they cooling the radiator in the back all the time now since the thing kind of works like refrigerator you have a really thick foamed walls you have a cooling inside it's going to create a vapor and there's just no way around it that vapor going to exit extra vapor going to exit and will end it up in this plate on the bottom and then it was just naturally evaporate in your living um, area now so technically this humidor is not like completely airtight you do have like that one hole that located on the bottom but it's in a u-shaped type um, and it will be just sealed with the water so there is no kind of like an airflow exchange it's just only for moisture to exit if it's needed but just properly humidifying your humidor with the uh, um, liquids or Beveda pack depends how you want to do it it will works just fine and it will store humidity and hold humidity really uh, really uh, good all right we're ready to season our humidor and there is actually a couple of methods to do that before picking the right method that will work best for your humidor we need to read a final humidity percentage of your humidor on arrival to do that just simply clean it like i showed to you earlier plug it in the wall set the temperature that you desire for your humidor either it's a 65 68 or 70 whatever you pick put two batteries in hydrometer there are two batteries that comes with it make sure you do not lose it they are for this humidor fill up the tray with the distilled water set it somewhere on the middle or in the bottom doesn't really matter and the most important step that everybody forgets and it's not even mentioned in the manual make sure you fill up that little hole that located in the back that i told you about earlier that little hole needs to be filled with the distilled water about two or three tablespoon will do the job 
it will extra will leak out in the back it was not going to hurt but you're going to seal that humidor really well uh, because all the humidity everything and the temperature will be escaping um, from that little hole that needs to be filled up so this unit can be actually properly sealed as soon as you do that do this let it sit for about five six hours after that you can go ahead and read your percentage of humidity in your humidor now if it's going to be really low around 40 50 then yes you might want to go ahead and speed up a process by just simply doing old school which is actually not recommended in the manual you just simply wipe your trays with a distal water and some really clean clean brand new sponge just wipe all of them or maybe two or three uh, trays and close it and let it sit for two three days it will automatically go to a proper percentage but it will not actually do it without beveda packs yes these units still need the beveda packs it's highly recommend i highly recommend go ahead buy a couple of beveda packs stick them in there i want to raise my humidity and um uh, i highly recommend you to do that as well a little bit higher than 70 so 72 73 before you want to put your um, cigars in there so for this project i picked Baveda packs at 72 percent later i kind of want to drop my um, hu humidity level in my humidor after about a week I'm, go I'm going to put like 69 in there you kind of want to keep your cigars a little bit below 70 this is like the best ideal uh, number a lot of people will argue with me the 70 70 rule but um, there's actually a lot of reports that cigars actually taste much better by keeping them under 70% of Fahrenheit and under 70% of humidity. So 68, 67, they will be ideal. Cigar tastes much, much better. They're more crispy and dry. They burn much uh, better if you're keeping them in this percentage um, level. Now, if you see 60% of humidity or even 65, uh, this is gonna be much uh, less work for you to do. Just simply put a couple of Beveda packs in there, still put that tray uh, filled with a distilled water, close the door and you're set. Just wait until uh, your humidity level uh, reach to 72% and you can go and start filling your humidor with cigars. Now, I uh, tested hydrometer in this unit and um, I was a little bit disappointed uh, and I highly recommend you to um, just go ahead and get like aftermarket hydrometer which I have two units like this and it actually shows really good I tested them before and I were able to calibrate them this type of unit comes with the calibration options which the one the cheaper one that built in into this um, humidor you can't really calibrate that at all so i would not trust that but before not trusting the unit obviously i would recommend you to go ahead and test that um, hydrometer which um, you do it was just simply filling up a little cap of water with salt and distilled water put in the ziploc bag like i did and you set it there for about eight hours that way you will see if your um, hydrometer got to 75 percent of humidity if it didn't and it sits at 70 percent then you would have to make a mental note that when it shows 70 percent of humidity in your humidor you actually run in your humidor at 65 so it's going to be five percent lower but no matter what i highly recommend you just to get these after markets um, very good hydrometers never had a problem with them i had two of them i would just put one on the top one on the bottom and i will refer to this they do have magnetic uh, plates on them and you can just simply put one at the front so you can always always read what is the humidity um, percentage in your humidor and control that okay so it's been about a week since i had this unit i fill it up i obviously um, 
properly season that and I reached that um, 72 uh, percent before I put all my uh, cigars in my humidor you see I did remove one of the trays I just kind of wanted to fit more boxes in here I uh, picked the Accurite I also forgot to mention I do really like this brand Accurite um, hygrometer I also did the salt test on this one it's very very accurate and it's very very fast on uh, the respond uh, you see it's 67 it actually was at 69 earlier I just opened and closed the door a couple of times I still have my Boveda vaccine here at 72 um, the tray with the water with the distill water still sits here um, and um, the secondary the hydroset hydrometer is located right here and you see a reading from it is over here on the bottom works absolutely great everything works fine uh, I have a couple of cigars um, here overall it's really really good it, it keeps the humidity and temperature really really great and the most important thing the temperature in this type of um, humidor stays very consistent just want to show you real quick how cigars uh, fit um, in this humidor so one of the boxes I have I brought from the trip uh, from my cruise trip to um, Roatan and Honduras I grabbed a couple of boxes of their um, cigars uh, this is just a box of Oliva Melania one of my uh, favorite favorite uh, cigars and the most important thing the biggest box of a diesel slideshow that I still have sealed that measures at 11 by 9 and it perfectly fit in this humidor with no problem at all guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching and stay smoky